Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. Good afternoon. Okay, number of students is not up to the mark. Anyway, let us start. So you can see this uh, one note. Yes. Okay, so today I'll be uh, going to discuss homogeneous partial differential equation with constant coefficient. And of course, uh, this partial differential equation is linear. Homogeneous linear partial differential equations with constant coefficients. So what, uh, whatever the general form, general form is uh, A naught del N J del X N plus A1 del N J del X N minus 1 del Y plus A2 del N J del X N minus 2 del Y2 in this way up to A N del N J del Y N is equal to right hand side uh, is a function of X and Y small f of X comma Y. Okay, so this is in the general form of homogeneous linear partial differential equation with constant coefficients. So whatever the coefficients, these are constant and a n is for some natural number means uh, its order of the differential equation is n. OK. Now if we write uh, the same equation in operator form, then how it looks like uh, it looks like a naught dn plus a1 d n minus 1 d dash plus a 2. I can say d n minus 2 d dash 2 uh, plus up to a n d dash n of z is equal to f of x comma y. This is basically in operator form. OK. Uh, where D is uh, as usual, it's meaning del Z and uh, D dash, it's meaning is del del Y. It has to be del del X. X. Okay, so uh, what is uh, D square? D square means del 2 del X 2 d cube means del 3 del x3 in this way it goes on similarly d dash square means del 2 del y2 uh, and uh, so on clear so this is in terms of the operator equation uh, you can recall uh, from your ordinary differential equation what what it happens say a0 dn plus a1 dn minus 1 plus up to a n uh, just it is one then it is y is equal to some functions of small x okay so this is for your uh, ode ordinary differential equation nth order ode if a naught is not equal to zero and then its order is n and it is a homogeneous and differential equation with constant coefficient coefficient and you know uh, what are the uh, solutions so corresponding homogeneous part is a naught d to the power n plus a1 d to the power n minus 1 plus up to a n y is equal to 0 it has uh, whatever the number of independent variable uh, independent solution exactly n number and whatever the solution summation ci xi okay so these are the uh, this is a complete uh, complementary uh, integral or complementary function 
and this is uh, basically a solution complete solution for the associated homogeneous part where right hand side is regarded at zero and uh, still uh, this is another thing that is known as the particular integral you can recall what is that for particular integral Uh, sir, integration of e to the power, I don't remember the rest. Yeah, 1 by f of d, basically I can write this is uh, f of d of uh, right hand side is x, is a function upon small x. This is the inverse operator, okay? Its meaning is that uh, inverse operator of uh, f of d, f of d is a operator, clear? So this is inverse operator, 1 by f of d, operated on x, a function of uh, say for example gx and without having any arbitrary constant such that f of d whenever uh, this is operated on gx uh, it has to give capital x okay so this is the meaning this is the inverse operator its meaning say for example uh, suppose uh, some operator means transformation suppose this is a to b and suppose t is a operator which operates every element of t to some element of b maybe this is your range so what is your t inverse t inverse is set of the things which goes back to here like that we like to find some gx functions of x here uh, since it is particular integral it does not involve any arbitrary constant so gx is a function of x small x only such that whenever this is just the reverse uh, inverse thing whenever fx is operated on gx so it has to give x capital x so this is the basic thing and another thing i should write it here so whatever the general solution uh, okay and general solution whatever i can say general solution of uh, one this is general solution of one each basically y is equal to cf this is what i write it here this is 2 and this is your uh, gx is this is 3 this is particular integral ca plus pi okay so this is known as the complete solution or general real solution of one clear okay so this is the case for your ordinary differential equation higher order ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients Okay, similarly, we, um, our target is to uh, develop for the partial differential equation. Okay, now come back to here. Uh, all of you understand the background? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so those who uh, joined late, I just discussed about the background. So today also number of students less. So uh, what I do associated homogeneous, this uh, thing I can write as function capital F of uh, D comma D dash. This is uh, the operator equation. Uh, op it is operated on Z. This is equal to small f x comma y. Okay. And if I put this thing to be zero, this thing uh, to be zero, then it is associated is associated homogeneous equation and whatever the solution solutions are uh, regarded as cf complementary function so whatever i can tell you 
the solution containing the correct number of arbitrary constants that is containing n arbitrary constant of the corresponding homogeneous linear partial differential equation this one this is going to be zero this is known as the corresponding homogeneous partial differential equation uh, or associated partial uh, homogeneous partial differential equation f d d dash z is equal to zero is known as the complementary function cf complementary function should i write it clearly and the full notation i think not necessary because this is not the first time you learn this okay so this is basically complementary function of the equation uh, maybe it is equation number 2 Similarly, at the same time, we can say that any solution without containing any arbitrary constants of one of one is known as the particular integral of one. So, and general solution, uh, particular uh, integral, any solution of uh, one without Containing without containing any arbitrary constant is called particular integral. And the general solution, I can write the general solution of one can be can be obtained. Z is equal to complementary function plus particular integral CF plus PF. Okay. This is exactly parallel case as that of your ordinary differential equation. So I, I think this part is very, very much clear to everybody. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, if your differential equation is particularly um, capital F uh, D D dash and uh, Z is equal to zero, right hand side, say for example, there is no functions of uh, X and Y, then whatever the general solution, general solution is only CF. And uh, in, in CF, uh, there is a condition. Can you say the condition? Sir, could you repeat the last line? So I couldn't really get it, sir. Okay, so uh, if your given differential equation, particularly uh, if uh, d d dash of z is equal to zero, say for example, right hand side is not uh, um, any function of x and y, it is just zero. Zero is also regarded as a function of x and y, no problem, but particularly it is zero. That means only your um, homogeneous part is there. Sure, so right hand side, there is no. Uh, small fx y understand no small fx y. so in this case what is the complete complete solution or general solution what you can say this is nothing but your complementary function only because there will be no particular integral necessary for this case clear whatever the solution it will um, you can get the solution in terms of the complementary function only so that that is my point that is one remark or you can write uh, corollary. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Now, um, 
I said just few minutes back that uh, in complementary function, there is a restriction regarding the arbitrary constant. What is that restriction? It depends on the order of the differential equation. If your order of the partial differential equation is n, then what could be the number of arbitrary constant in the complementary function? Sir, n minus 1. So if your order of the partial differential equation is 1, then uh, how many arbitrary constant will be there? Oh, 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 oh yes, yes, will be 0, so 1. It, it is uh, basically n. n. If order is n, then number of arbitrary constant will be exactly n. Okay. So no n minus 1. So that's what the restriction I told uh, whenever I define whatever the complementary function. Okay, next we have to learn what is the method of finding method of finding CF. Okay, complementary function, how to find complementary function. Clear? Okay, all of you can see the full screen now. There is no problem on seeing that. Uh, no, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Okay. I assume that uh, f of uh, d d dash whatever I write uh, z is equal to f of x comma y. This is your number one. I rewrite it in this pattern or one dash whatever I can uh, say mm, where uh, and uh, assume that f capital F can be factored as, you know, uh, this is uh, uh, whatever you can say, this is a nth uh, degree polynomial, something like in D and D dash, sure. So uh, it may be right uh, factored as n parts, clear, M1 D dash, D minus M2, D dash in this way, D minus MN D dash. That I can assume. Any problem? No, sir. No, because uh, this is a, this is what? This is a nth degree polynomial type. This is a nth degree polynomial in D and D dash because all powers are integer powers. Clear? So, um, and it is a polynomial in D and D dash and constants are, uh, coefficients are constant particularly. So definitely, uh, and the constants are real constant. So definitely you can uh, factor in, into N, uh, um, there could be N number of uh, factors and maybe some repeated roots also there, but in general I can write uh, there could be N number of factors, small N number of factors. And it can be factored like this way. Okay. Where? What could be MIs? MIs are real or complex constants. Okay, it may be com complex number also, isn't it? Should I tell, say for example, uh, something d square plus one, z is equal to zero. So how it can be factored, d plus i, <coughs> sorry, d minus i, z is equal to zero. So whatever your M1, M1 is I, whatever your M2, M2 is minus I. So it may be complex, it may be real, there is no issue. But whatever we can get as a, um, 
in general we can tell that these are all complex number clear m1 m2 up to mn So I can write uh, this uh, D minus uh, M1 of D dash, D minus M2 of D dash, in this way, D minus MN, D dash of Z is equal to zero. And that means uh, each of the factor has to be zero. That means uh, we can, choose the general form is like that. From this, how uh, the uh, complementary function, I can write the general form is D minus M D dash and Z is equal to zero. This is the general form. It could be M1, M2 up to MN. Okay, so that means uh, small p um, minus M into Q is equal to zero. This is a quasi linear differential equation. So uh, Lagrange's auxiliary equation, who can recall dx by one is equal to dy by minus m is uh, equal to minus m equal to dz by uh, zero. Zero. Yeah, very good. So, what could be the solution? Solution is uh, basically z is equal to some arbitrary constant phi of y plus mx. Is not it? Phi is some arbitrary constant. Uh, arbitrary, sorry. Uh, phi is some arbitrary uh, functions of y plus mx. So how many arbitrary functions will be there? So and jd is equal to how many here? Phi1 y plus m1x. Similarly, jd is equal to phi2 y plus m2x. Okay, up to jd is equal to phi n y plus mn x okay so these are all independent solution uh, so complementary function as you know this is uh, the combination linear combination that means uh, phi1 y plus m1 x cf each plus phi2 y plus m2 x plus up to phi n y plus mn x okay so this is your uh, complementary function we can get it very easily okay but uh, uh, depending on the um, means the m1 uh, sorry mi we can find uh, what are the part part of the complement means so what are the individual complementary uh, uh, sorry independent solution So another easy way, easier way, way, if we put, uh, that is in most of the books, engineering books, it has been given. Uh, this is the general, uh, this is the, I can say this is most uh, general way. This is the actual way how we can find the complementary function. But there is an easier way, means shortcut method we can tell. Okay, what is the shortcut method? Equation, uh, this equation can be written as, okay, so this equation can be written as, A0 m to the power n, plus a1 m to the power n minus 1 up to a n is equal to 0, putting d is equal to m 
and d dash is equal to one. So we get this equation. Okay. So this is a polynomial equation of degree n. So it has n roots. So depending on the roots, we can say that. Okay. Now say for example, it has just only one case uh, I can uh, give in the whole uh, thing for complementary function. In case of uh, your uh, particularly ordinary differential equation, there are three cases. Uh, as you can recall, I can tell you, uh, number one is uh, real and distinct roots. Say for example, M1, M2 up to Mn, there are n number of real roots and all are distinct. So then uh, whatever the uh, complementary um, function, there is a one form and real and equal. Say for example, M1 equal to M2 equal to up to Mn. In that case, there is another form. And another is uh, say for example, roots occur in uh, complex conjugate. Suppose alpha plus i beta, another root is alpha minus i beta. Then what should be the complementary function? E to the power alpha x, a cos beta x plus d sine beta x. So uh, this is uh, for your ordinary differential equation. But here we can write uh, in general way. Suppose it has um, roots are it has roots and distinct particularly. I can make it two cases distinct say uh, M1, M2, M3 up to Mn then CF will be B P1 Y plus M1 X plus P2 Y plus M2 X, whatever the roots. So simply we write this uh, up to Pn Y plus Mn X. So uh, if I can give some examples, say for example, plus minus one, and plus minus uh, say for i, these are the roots. Then uh, what could be the complementary function for this particularly? I, I make it a box. P1 y plus x plus P2 y minus x plus P3 y plus ix plus P4 y minus ix understand so this is very very simple no need to go for alpha plus i beta alpha minus i beta like that suppose the roots are plus minus one plus minus i all are distinct maybe complex number no issue so we write p1 y plus m1 x means y plus x plus p2 y plus m2 x means y minus x plus p3 y plus ix plus p4 y minus ix. So this is your complementary function. I think you understand it. Yes, sir. All of you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Next, uh, there could be certain roots which are equal and uh, certain other roots which may be uh, unequal. So that may be another case I can uh, handle. I have to handle the uh, the case uh, separately. Uh, next, uh, we assume <coughs> assume that uh, there are r r equal roots say m and n minus r distinct roots roots say m r plus 1 m r plus 2 up to Mn. Okay, so these are n minus r. Okay. 
So this is not divided by, these are m n minus r copies, C O P I E S. Okay. So in this case, complementary function C F will be, um, will be, this is very, very easy. P1 Y plus A max, next uh, here X into P2 Y plus MX. Uh, okay, plus up to x to the power how many? R minus one is not it? P R Y plus M X because how many equal roots? R number of equal roots. So first one is as as it is Y plus M X, and this is P one. Uh, second in case of second P two X plus uh, sorry Y plus M X. I can write X into okay in this way. And next one, no need to write it in multiplication. Okay. What happens? Arijit Vishas? Arijit? Okay, so this is your uh, situation in this case. If there are R equal roots, and n minus r distinct roots, then uh, this will be your complementary function. It should be m r plus one, m r plus two, sir, after r, phi r plus one, sir. Yes. You are correct. This will be M uh, R plus one, M R plus two, up to M N. And sir, I didn't get one part, sir. Why in the CF would it be uh, like when the repeated roots are there? Why is there a degree of X being multiplied with it? I didn't really get that part, sir. Okay, so uh, if I ask the same question for your uh, ordinary differential equation, then how can you answer exactly same? Oh, uh, acha, acha. oh acha, acha. I missed okay. out on this. Sorry. Okay. Even if you see the general thing, whatever I uh, gave here, then you understand it. This is the most general way how to do that. P minus MQ, it will be two times. Okay, then you can uh, realize, uh, then you have to uh, find the Lagrange's uh, multiplier and then you can get the solution. One solution is that, and at the same time, two two things, you can take one example, say for example, D minus one whole square. And D minus one whole square is equal to, Z is equal to something, say for example, some function C here then what should be the complementary function that you try to do it, then you understand what is happening actually. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So uh, this D is uh, del del Z, uh, sorry, del del X, not uh, D D X. Okay, this is partial differential. Okay, so Next, uh, I think it is better if I solve some questions. Example uh, one. 
solve the PD DQ minus six D square D dash plus 11 D D dash square minus six D dash cube Z is going to be equal to zero. Right hand side is zero. Only we are focusing on complementary function this time. Clear? So what could be the auxiliary equation? The equation uh, is given by mq. What we have to put? D equal to one. D dash sorry D equal to m and D dash equal to one in the given equation. So it will be mq. You can hear me. So yes, sir. Six yes, m sir. square. Okay, eleven m minus six is going to be equal to zero. This is your auxiliary equation. But uh, can you tell how to find the roots of this equation? There is a technique. One by trial and error, sir. Yeah, yeah. So first we have to find one root because this is a cubic equation. Uh, first we have to find one root and this could be done uh, by trial and error method. Say for example, first I try for one, whether one is a root or not. 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6. It is exactly, it matches. Sure, it is going to be equal to 0. So I can write m minus 1. This is one root. So another root is what it could be m square minus 6m six six. plus 4. Have it, na? No, not six. No, sir. It is no, sir. Four. It's four. Minus four m. So five minus five and sir m square minus five m plus six. M square minus five m plus six. Minus five m plus six. Five m minus five m. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, minus 5m. Plus 6. M. 5m. M square minus 5m plus 6. Sir, no, sir. M minus 1 into M minus 2 into M minus 3. 1, 2, 3 are the roots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Good. I can write it uh, in this way. M, uh, this is M minus 2. This is M minus 3 equal to zero that means roots are one two three okay so <clears throat> whatever the cf i am uh, i will write whatever you tell in this case no need to tell cf in this case i can tell the general solution because the differential equation right hand side is zero itself Y plus what is this? So y plus x plus phi two y plus two x six plus phi three y plus three x. So where phi one, phi two, phi three, these are arbitrary ones. Okay, so we are done. Okay, now uh, another thing uh, I like to give one corollary. If I put D equal to one, D dash equal to M, uh, sorry, then whatever the equation, your 
in that case, uh, whatever the solution, it will be x plus m y. X plus p i in this way, x plus m i y. Okay, so just reverse thing. Y plus M, earlier what happens, Jodi, if we put D equal to M, D is equal to one, then uh, components are PI, Y plus MIX, is not it? Okay, for distinct part. And in this case, it will be X plus MIY. Sometimes you can put this also, if you feel it is easier to get, then your uh, answer will be means arbitrary function will be a function of x plus m i y instead of uh, arbitrary function of y plus m i x. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so should I stop? Uh, because in the next class, I can uh, tell you how to find method for finding particular integral. So this is again, uh, we are uh, going in parallel to your that of your uh, ordinary differential equation. Okay, so you can read a bit for the ordinary differential equation, we try to go for uh, parallel way. Another thing I give your home task or home exercise, and that is a Bernstein coefficient uh, means uh, if we like to do um, this thing, say for example, one plus certain d or certain functions of d, okay, say for example, f of d small or d d dash, whatever, one plus something whole to the power a, and then how to expand it in terms of uh, the uh, this is binomial expansion. Say, for example, more general thing I can tell. 1 plus x whole to the power n, this thing you know, whenever n is a, a positive integer. But uh, uh, whenever n is uh, some rational, th then also you know. Even whenever n is uh, your uh, any real number, any real number, that means 1 plus x whole to the power a, and uh, then what could be the expansion uh, binomial expansion, expansion, general form, whenever n is a real number, and that is uh, due to the Bernstein coefficient. So, uh, this is your home task. Clear? Okay? Okay, so. Okay, so uh, I may ask uh, coming Tuesday that what's, uh, what is Bernstein coefficient and how you can expand it. And because nowadays actually, uh, whenever you are learning binomial expansion, maybe from 10 plus two or uh, plus 10, I don't know. Uh, 